sound crazy to you. And you sound crazy to us for not believing it with all of the stacked up evidence that the government shows you on television. They call it classified. The government created a whole called Project Blue Book and put a billion dollars in it. There's a whole goon Air Force base that nobody can go into. Well, oh, they're over there testing um, Delta. They already got Delta. They're going to test something over you on the people in Iraq. What are they doing with it now? Oh, the Roswell, that was just some dummies in a weather balloon. Frightened me. And I remember running back into the house and saying, my God, this is for real. This is not a dream. And it came towards the car that I was in very fast um, through the sky. Two people came in, two aliens came inside the bedroom, and I was taken in aboard a ship. When I was brought into the craft, I was brought into a room that was pitch black. They put this lens over my head, and it was as though they were shooting lights, colored lights, into my head. If this is true, it's the biggest story of all time. It seems to be involved with it, an ongoing genetic experiment, which involves taking sperm and ova samples, following people across generations in the same family, and the apparent artificial insemination of women, and then a removal of the fetus later. It is so intrinsically unbelievable. It sounds so wild, and I'm the first to admit that. Yet it is going on. Could you tell me a little bit about what these people look like? Just those big, big, intense eyes. Big, big, intense eyes? Mm hmm What color are the eyes? Very dark. Mm hmm Shiny, very shiny. The patterns that I'm getting from these totally credible people are incredibly similar, these patterns, and the physical details are so similar. The weight of evidence depends upon the repetition of all these details in case after case after case, and the weight of evidence here is enormous. The one I saw most clearly was about four to four and a half feet tall, I think sitting down it had big almond shaped eyes and a long thin face a little thin mouth and nose a larger head and uh, almond shaped eyes large heads large eyes um, dark eyes i felt a pain in the navel area and it was like there was a needle put into my stomach things were inserted in my nose and um things done to my um, stomach. I said, you have no right. They said, we do have a right. I have no reason to, um, to make up such a story. If I want to be known for something, this is the last thing that I would pick. I'm not sure what their reason is for being here, but they're here. They're around us uh, all the time. And they all are saying the exact same thing and describing the exact same people, whether it's in Hindi, or Arabic, or Spanish, or French, or Italian, or German, whatever language they're speaking, they say the same thing. They say little men. I think they're men, but they have no apparent sexual organs. With big heads some grayish or brownish in complexion with large eyes and little slits. Some had five fingers, some had four. Some had three, some had like claws, which means there's some kind of a, uh, mutation or evolution or gravitation or genetic experiment going on amongst them also. In 1995 in Zimbabwe, Africa, pupils of an entire school say they witnessed the landing of an alien spacecraft. <laughs> At first, I just saw a bright light, kind of like silver, a very, very bright light. And then, well, I could see like, like two black people, but then very, very black. And uh, one was near the spaceship, and one was a bit forward. It was like very, very bright. And I thought like, when I first saw it, I just said, well, I don't believe it, because it's like someone was, was, uh, was pointing a mirror this way. But then I... I just changed my mind because it was very bright. Well, it was like a very shiny object then. It was like so shiny, like the sun was reflecting off it. And it was shimmering in that. And um, it was like an egg laying on its side, you know, like kind of an oval shape. And it was very, very shiny in that. And